That is what I like about these Dong and Rampa games. They make me think of these crazy ass theories that may not even apply, but all right. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. <laughs> What is this feeling just now? I got a feeling. Even though it was brief, it was like a strong fresh of light running through the back of my head. Oh, that was just a Mexican you had. It was that double chalupa. Maybe what Akane said right just now might be a new clue. From there, I might be able to reach the answer. The way Nagato brought the poison, which means the thing he used as a container was... The fire grenade. No way. Wait a minute. The fire grenades were the poison! Are you serious? That's what the game's saying. The fire grenades were the fucking poison. That's nuts! Oh my god, I almost lost all my health, but I got it. So he filled the fire grenades with the poison. I see, I got it. He, he set himself up to make it look like he was going to kill himself. But then he put the poison in the fire grenades so they would throw the fire grenades and that poison would kill him. What the fuck? This is so fucking complicated. Huh? The fire grenades. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. Oh my god. He used one of the fire grenade canisters? Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. Huh. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Oh, bastard. He totally knew we were gonna throw those fire grenades. Which means... Did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. Ah, the aluminum we found in his room. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? The, that is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? Aha! Uh -huh. Hajime, could it be? If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. This is so wild. What a fucking weird scenario. Seriously? That's impossible. Miss Sonia just said so right now. Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? Sonia's words contain a clue that the contents of a fire grenade were swapped with the poison. I can prove it with this. Got it. Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. N no, that is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. He also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. Yep. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? It's a dangerous poison, after all. He took extreme caution when swapping them. So, what's the issue? 
Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in, and died, right? So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide! Enough already! <laughs> You're right. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. See, I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. Hmm. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. You... you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. Oh my god, now what? What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? <laughs> is this not settled? <clears throat> there is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. Jockey? Oh my god. I'm sorry, but I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When they opened the door. So they're gonna say that it was them opening the door caused him to die. Therefore, Akane would be the murderer because she's the one who put the door open and caused the fire. When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? It probably happened at the same time. You know what I should do? I should save because I have like no health just in case something goes wrong soon. Let me save. Okay. The moment the fire grenades were brought and the moment Nagato breathed in the poison were the same. Because the same moment would be when the fire started. Crap! No. When they threw the grenades. I see! There you go. Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. When we all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse, the poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. If, if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us. One of us! What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... It would mean he didn't kill himself. Oh my god! What the heck? You said so yourself! You said Nagito committed suicide! The then who killed Nagito? You mean... Who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Oh? The person who prepared the poison fire grenade. I have no idea. I don't remember. I don't remember. Fuck. No. Fuck. Wait, it's gotta be Nagito because of the aluminum and the gas mask. I see. Right. It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? Nagito! I see! That was also Nagito. Hey, how many times are you gonna ask the same damn question? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? 
To commit suicide, to get our attention, to destroy the evidence, to make someone throw the poison. I see! Yep. Don't tell me, he... He set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why'd he do that? Because he wanted to die a different way? I, I don't know. This is so convoluted now, man.